not back yet. Carla Constanza made two telephone calls from the Fox and Goose. John Merrill wasn't in, so she left a message for him. But she must have got through to Bill Mitchell at Monarch. And she told him? Yeah. And look at it from his point of view. Carla Constanza, the personification of smoking. Dying slowly from a smoker's disease. They would have been ruined. Yeah. That's why I took the gamble. She was dying anyway. But if she died in Strangler's Wood... He must have picked her up from the hotel, pretended to reason with her, but in fact, he just wanted her on her own. He wasn't to know that Carla had already telephoned John Merrill. Anna Santa Rosa heard that message. It was in her own language. And it must have told her enough for her to try a little blackmail. Messages deleted. And that was her big mistake. Bill Mitchell was playing for higher stakes. He didn't hesitate, killed her too. And what about Dr. Aycott? Did he kill him? Yes. He had to get rid of Carla's medical records. As a matter of fact, Draycott, or Dr. Aycott, was what gave him away. Really? Yeah. Do you remember when you asked him about the name? Draycott? No. Never heard of him. Why do you ask? No reason. The way he smiled. He knew we got it wrong. And he also knew that Draycott was a man. Never heard of him, he said. We didn't tell him that. So much killing. Mm. And now he's alone with David Merrill. Sir! He's here! Mitchell. Where's the boy? I couldn't kill him. He's a complete little shit, but he's a child. Couldn't do it. 